Hello there, it's Alana Tucky, the lead faculty for Math 133, and I'm back to continue helping you with your first project. So you finished all of project task one, project number one, task one, which is all the GDP stuff, the GDP distributions, the graphs, the analysis, and you have it all in one tab. It'll all be in this tab where your data is, and then you'll have, you know, part two right here, and then the table right here, and then all your graphs down here, and your analysis piece down here, either typed or inserted as a text box, right? Blah, blah, blah. Well, part six. Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay? All right, so now we have to go grab the data for the next part and this is going to get tricky because we're going to have to paste it into our already existing Excel file. All right, so let's go down to here. So we're going to have to go back to Gapminder. So let me go to Gapminder and I'm on the data tab and I'm going to type infant mortality. There it is. If you just type the word infant, there it shows up. Click on over here on the Excel download file. And it's going to wait for a minute. And there it is. So I'm going to click on it and it's going to open it up. So I have this data, this tab, or excuse me, this project that has my name, project one, fall 13, or winter 14, or whenever you're doing this. And then you have this other one that has this infant mortality. You're going to type in or click on the enable editing thing because you want to be able to edit this thing. Okay, so then I'm also going to have to go type life expectancy. So let me type that in. So life expectant. This is good. All right, now there's a few different options, but we're going to pick the one that's years right there. So this it's the second one on the list. So I'm going to go over here to the download and click on that. And then wait. It's going to take it a minute to download it. There it is. It's popping up. So I click on it. And then it should be opening. There it is. So if I go click on Excel, there it is. I click Enable Editing. And there we go. We've got our life expectancies. Cool. All right, now let's see what we need to do with all of this. So we've downloaded our um, data for infant mortality. We've downloaded our data for life expectancy. OK. So now we've got to start cleaning up. This is going to be a mess. So we've got to go to the infant mortality one. Instead of writing about, we're going to write about mortality. And same with life expectancy, we're going to about, about life expectancy. So this is the infant mortality. You can tell because it says infant mortality up here. So on the about, I'm going to double click and say about infant mortality. Or if you just want to say about mortality, that's fine. Click off of it. There you go. And then, let's see what else we got to do. Oh, the other one, life expectancy. So I'm going to go over here and click about life expectancy. There, I click that off of that. So that way those about tabs are renamed. And I bet you have to rename the other tabs as well. Oops, no, I don't. OK. Oh, and I have to copy these. OK, so I've renamed them, and I'm going to copy them. All right. so. That's kind of complicated. You probably have never done that before. So let me go down here. So what I want is for this tab, this About Mortality tab, to get put into my Project One worksheet, workbook, actually. So what I do is I go down here and I right click on that About Mortality down here. And it sh should come up all these different options, Delete, Insert, and so on. And I'm going to click on Move or Copy. And then I want to create a copy. And then up here, I want to tell it what workbook I want to put it in. Right now it's in the Infant Mortality Workbook. So if I click over here on this arrow, and I can go to my project, which was last name, you know, like, you know, Smith, Project 1, Fall 13, or, you know, I don't know, Jones, Project 1, Win 14, or Spring 14, or whatever semester you're doing this in. Okay? So you click on that, and then you say where you want it to go. I'm going to put it right here after, at the footnotes and say, OK. And then look what happened. Here's my GDP one with the blah, 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 blah. There's my about GDP. And right here is about mortality. That workbook, this little sheet over here, got moved to this book over here. So the book is the name for all the tabs put together. So that worksheet got put into that other book. And now I'm going to do it again. So I'm going to go to this green one, which is the life expectancy one. I'm going to right click, move or copy. I want to create a copy, so you click on that, and go up here to the little pull-down menu and choose where your project is. 
So, you know, Smith Project 1, Spring 14, or whatever. And I'm going to put it right before the footnotes again and say, OK. And there it is, look. Now I've got about GDP, about mortality, and about life expectancy all sitting in here. Beautiful. So the interesting thing about these, one, the reason I have you doing this is because this has all the information about what these are. So you can see, oh, this was life expectancy, or excuse me, this is mortality. This is what that means, right? How many children you expect to die per 1,000 live births. This is the average number of years that a newborn child would live, yada, yada, yada. What it's measured in, what its units are. Those are important things if you're going to be having to interpret the data, which you are, right? And in case you're interested, um, you can figure out where the data set comes from and all sorts of other good stuff. But what's really important is what it means, this, this bit right here, what it means, what its units are, etc. And each one of these has that information somewhere, right? Unit of measurement, indicator name, description of the indicator. Alrighty? Alright, so we've done that part. We've copied that stuff over. So that's parts one and two. It's a little complicated, but we're good. Now we're going to insert a new tab and name it more pet and mortality. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to right click. Actually, I'm going to click on about mortality. Right click, insert a worksheet. That's fine. And then I'm going to double click and say mortality. And there we go. Cool, done that. All right, so we're only going to look at our year. So we have to delete all the other columns for the years other than the one we were assigned, right? So I think I chose 1965 in the other video, so I'll choose 1965 again. So let me go back to the data, and you've got all these years you don't want. So you got to left click on the column. I clicked on the column, by the way. And then I'm just dragging across, and then I right click on any space that's in there, any of the blue highlighted part, and click delete. And then I just keep going. Click B, high, scroll to the right. Oop, there's 1965 for me, so I'm going to stop right in 1964. Right click, delete. And then there's 1966 and beyond. Right click, delete. All right, so I did that for that one. Mortality's got it gone. Now I got to go do the same thing for life expectancy. So scroll, scroll, scroll. You just click, hold down your mouse, and go to the right, go to the right, go to the right, until you get to the year you want. There's 1965 right there, so I'm going to delete everything before that. And then I'm going to click on cell or column C and delete everything after that. Deleted. All right, done with that. Next. Right, so the life expectancy spreadsheet, so we've done that. Um, the life expectancy spreadsheet has Hawaii and Malau or Malaya. All right, let me go look at those. Life expectancy. So we scroll down. These are in alphabetical order. So if you just kind of scroll down with your mouse, let me see if you see Hawaii. Oh, I don't see it in here. Maybe it's in the other one. Let me check. Oh, maybe it's in the wrong one. Oop, there it is. So it's in the infant mortality one. Delete that. We don't want that. So, in, oh, I, I'm sorry, it was in the infant mortality spreadsheet. All right, so let me go back. So at the time, of course, if you're going back to the 1800s, Hawaii was its own country in the 1800s. That's why that's in here. But it's it doesn't do us any good because it's not in the life expectancy one. You also want to do it for Malaya. So what you do is you click on the, the row that's got Malaya. See that 137 for me? And then I right click and delete. And that's exactly what I did for Hawaii. So let me do it again. So I, I find the row where Hawaii is, I click on that number for Hawaii, and then I right click and then delete. And then scroll down to Malaya, click on the row for Malaya, right click, delete. Because those aren't in both data sets, so it's not useful for you. All right, so let's go see what else we got to do. All right, so we're going to copy and paste the data from the life expectancy spreadsheet and the infant mortality spreadsheet into the mortality worksheet tab in our project in one workbook. All right, so that's not going to be too bad. So I want infant mortality first. So I'm going to go here. And all you do, you can do it a couple ways. Um, you can highlight the two columns. And all I did but for that was just click on A and B. And then I hit Control C, or you can go up here and click Copy. Or you can hold down the Control button and hit the letter C. And then I go back to the workbook where my project is, and it's all blank on there. And I hit either Paste right here or Control V. And there it is. And now I'm going to go do it again for life expectancy. So I'm going to go to life expectancy. 
go up to the top, and I'm going to do the same thing for these two columns. So I hit click on the A and kind of scroll over to the B, and then I've got all the columns. Control C or the copy button, whichever you like. Go back to your project workbook. Control V. Now if you're nervous, don't don't close out the other ones yet. Just in case you mess up, you can always bring that data set back, right? But I'm going to save right now, right away. Save. And then just kind of scroll through and make sure, you know, Kiribati matches Kiribati, Panama matches Panama, and so on. You want to make sure it should work if you, oh, see, Zimbabwe, and this is off a little bit. Let's see, where do we mess up? Tonga. Okay, so that's together. That's together. Spain, South Sudan. Oh, there's the problem. South Sudan is now a country, but it didn't used to be. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll go highlight South Sudan, highlight both the country and the number with it, and then right click and delete. And then you want to shift the cells up. That's going to move the whole column upwards. There you go. Now Spain is matched with Spain, and so on. All right, cool. Now, what you need to do is you need to go through the data set and get any column or any country that doesn't have both numbers, you're going to delete. So this one doesn't have anything, so I'm going to delete that. So I highlight the row and I delete it. This one doesn't have anything, so I highlight the row and delete it. Um, this one doesn't have anything, this one doesn't have anything. Angola has one, but not the other, so that's no good to us. Delete it. Delete Anguilla, Antigua, and Barbuda. Delete them because it's got one but not the other. So I'm just highlighting all those rows, right click, delete. Argentina's got both, good. Armenia and Aruba don't have both, deleted, and so on. So you've got to go through and do this to your entire data set. Anything that doesn't exist for both, you need to get rid of it. Right? It looks like the one on the right, the, or the one on the left is going to be the limiting factor for me, at least in 1965. I don't know what it would be like in a later year or whatever. Okay. Oh, see, there's British Virgin Islands doesn't have either. So I'm going to delete that and so on. Okay, so you do that through the whole thing. And then you're going to need to see rename the columns with appropriate labels and make sure all the country lines and the data, that's what we were getting with that. Okay, so... We have got everything sorted. We're gonna you're gonna keep going with this whole deleted thing. But the one thing you're gonna want to do is to change this. This is the infant mortality. My year is 1965. Okay, and this is the life expectancy. 1965. You want to make it so that they're not both 1965. That's not really a good label for you. So you want to kind of make it so that you can see what they are. You don't need column C in the middle if you don't want it, by the way. I just like to have it. I like a little barrier for myself, but that's just me. So if you don't want it, you don't have to have it. All right, so keep going with your deleting, and I'll see you back here at the next video when we will discuss uh, making a scatter plot and some of this analysis piece, and then we'll be all done. because we are finished with the cleaning up, the downloading the data and the cleaning up of that mortality piece. Oh, don't forget to save every time, right? Save all the time. You don't want to lose this stuff.